Now, people say, oh, you avoided the Sister T and Kwame Brown thing. You avoided it. You ain't want to talk about Sister T turning on Kwame Brown. And she finally saw the light. All the nonsense you've been sending me. I saw your messages. I saw it. I was on Kwame Brown's chat asking the same question. What in the world is going on here? Now, Apparently, Damn D said something about Sister T um, or mentioned her name in some type of comment and Kwame had highlighted the comment. I don't know if he read that it has Sister T's name in it or whatever. I never even saw the comment, so I don't really know what it says, but I know that's what she was upset about. from watching her video. So I don't know what it actually said. But that's what she alluded to being upset about. And if that was something that happened and she was upset about it, Sister T, I'm not here to tell her she has no right to be upset about something like that, depending on what was said, but she calls Kwame Brown her nephew. She said, I would never turn against my nephew, no matter what. I remember her saying that. No matter what. Hey, y'all tried, it wouldn't work. He's my nephew, no matter what. I've heard her say this countless times. So, I found it very bizarre that once that was the reason, and she declared, declared that was the reason, she had a lot more to say. And was actually alluding to the fact that maybe Kwame should have jumped into her defense with damn D they've been going back and forth with each other for months and this beef had nothing to do with Kwame Brown so he stayed out of it so it was really bizarre watching her live stream <laughs> And I'm somebody who had great respect for Sister T. You know, and I'm just sitting there like, what is this? Because I'm like, you could have reached out to Kwame Brown if you had a problem about him, like something is, you know, is, is highlighting something on his page and like taking it down or I don't know why he highlighted, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't see that. I went on there for that part. So I don't know what was said in there, but if you felt something was wrong, you know how to reach Kwame Brown. But, you know, I can't move like everyone else move. I can only move how I move. I just know if something like, like if Kwame would have did something like that and I felt like it was slighting me, I would call Kwame and be like, what's up with that? What was that about? I want to make a video. I wouldn't do that. 
But like I say, I move how I move. Everyone don't have to move in the same manner in which I move. I just felt that was a little far from somebody you call your nephew to, oh, because he highlighted that one thing, oh, that did it, and oh, now, nah. and I'm not definitely finna go run over to someone who is opposite of them and start apologizing to them. What are you apologizing for? Like I said, it, it's, it, that was the most bizarre activity I've ever seen from somebody who said that they support somebody just 48 hours ago or 24 hours ago, whatever it was. Something was slighted and something was definitely going on and brewing that this was almost like calculated, like waiting for something to, or some little thing to happen so they could use that for the opportunity. It's sad to me. It's really sad to see that happen in that faction. It, that, that was hurtful to see that happen with Sister T. That was really hurtful to see that video. That was disturbing. That was very disturbing. Because I'm like, how did, I just couldn't believe it. Because if you've been knowing Kwame Brown and seeing how Kwame Brown has moved on this channel for over a year now, and you mean to tell me you think Kwame Brown was out to attack you? To just out of the blue, just start going against you. I don't, I don't buy that. Now, like I said, she can have her own opinions on that, but I just feel that was not fair. That's not accurate. And she's a grown woman. She can do anything she wants on her channel. I just felt that was, I was quite disappointed in seeing that. And then you go run to somebody just because that person is is opposite of Kwame. And that person that has done nothing for your page and channel or is helping you grow or anything. I wouldn't have known who Sister T was if it wasn't for Kwame. And I'm quite sure there's a lot of people that would say that. I don't know how many people saying out there that they would have known Sister T because of Gilbert. <laughs> you know, so I just found that to be very bizarre. But align yourself with the people you want. You know, it's just it's disappointing to say the least. I was I was more disturbed about that than anything. Because I was just like, I can't believe Sister T did that. I just, I, I was more stunned. And then I was like, I got to see this video. I come home, I watch the video. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, like, it just really was so bizarre to me. It, it really let me down. It really did. That let me down. More than anybody, that let me down. Like, when do you need someone else to justify your statement? Like, what is running over to Gil is supposed to prove? Like, yeah, I'm going to run over to him and say, I'm sorry. What you apologizing to him for? <laughs> so what you're basically saying is, I'm sorry because I was just doing that for him. If I say something about Gilbert... That's how I feel about Gilbert. That has nothing to do with Kwame. So if you were doing something just for Kwame and that ain't how you felt all along, then you were being phony.
I'm not going to go at somebody because just because Kwame don't like him, I got to dislike him because Kwame don't like him. So if you're going to wait till you have a disagreement with Kwame Brown and say, I'm sorry to Gilbert, then if I'm Gilbert, I don't even accept that. That just make me lose even more respect for you, period. Because you're not really sorry. You're just trying to think this is going to hurt him. And it's not going to hurt Kwame. It just makes you look bad. That's a bad look. That's a really bad look. Not because it's Gilbert. It's because that could be anybody. I'm not going to go run to somebody's opposition and start saying, oh, I'm sorry. What you sorry about? Guy has been playing this game from the beginning. And these guys, they they love the attention so much, they can't figure it out. They just, they really, they just don't know how to figure it out. They love the attention, man. I'm not saying she do. I'm just saying people in general now. Now I'm speaking in general. Even though I'm disappointed in her, this is a growing trait you've seen from like smaller YouTube channels that they, if they have any type of attention come their way, they scrape morals, they scrape everything out, throw it all out the window so that they can go ahead and do whatever the hell it is that they want to do. They don't care. They just want some eyes on them. Anything for that look. That's to me is just gross. Completely. So I'm really disappointed in Sister T right now. Extremely disappointed. I stayed out of her thing with Dame D because I didn't side with anybody on any beef. I didn't have a problem with Dame D. And see, I don't need anybody to justify my statement. I don't go get Kwame Brown to justify my statements. If I feel some way, that's the way Carcino feels. If Kwame feels some way, that's the way Kwame Brown feel. You see what I'm saying? So, we might agree on the same things, but we justify our own statements. We don't have to go get someone else to, to say the same thing we're saying to justify what we're saying. We'll just say, hey, that person said the same thing somewhere else. We didn't have to get in communication about it. But most, of, some of the people, what they do is because Kwame Brown said this, oh, let me go ahead and go against them too, just because I roll with Kwame. So anything I'm showing, I'm down, I'm Lord, I'm down. So he, I'm going to make my video dissing him. Not saying Sister T did that, okay? I'm just saying in general, it's more people now. We're talking in generalities, the majority. They were going out bashing and getting involved because they just want to appease Kwame. And then these other people want to do it to appease Gil. Hopefully Gil will see their videos and like it and might want to come on their channel. So they'll do a video 
taken up for Gil. Because they're not doing it because that's how they naturally feel. They're doing it so they can get eyes and ears. There's a difference. So you're not writing for somebody. You're using someone else's situation as the gas to boost yourself. So it's not, this is how I feel. And people blur those lines. And want to make attachments because of it. This is why I always say, I don't belong to a group. I am an individual. Kwame is individual. Now, we as cool as, as fans. And we, and we both respect each other as men. But we know that we are each individual. You see, I bet you YSL realized the worst thing they ever did was say they was YSL. Associated themselves as a group. If I stand on something or if I stand behind something, it's because I believe it. That's all. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. If I'm standing on something, it's because I believe in it. There are a lot of other people that like to equate themselves to a, a beef or a conflict or any kind of drama that comes along with another person because they're putting their own perceptions to it. They'd be like, oh, you are you going out to Gil because of Kwame. No, I'm going out to Gil based on his own ignorance and then he's speaking my name. <laughs> we went over this countless times by now. Every time he spoke my name, I had to put him back in his place. And then he come back and I put him back in his place again. He came back and I put him back in his place again. Every time he got out of line, I put him right back in line. He just didn't understand of how resourceful I was. He thought I was like the rest of you at first because he had never heard of me. And then the more and more he found out, the more he realized, well, damn, this guy isn't like the rest of you. He actually knows about basketball. He's actually been around people. You know, like, it's a different, it's a whole different experience than just being some guy that just walked on to YouTube, who's never been around any of this stuff. So, me talking to Gilbert wouldn't impress me. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's a difference. He wouldn't want to sit down and really be on a chat with me. That's not going to do anything for his ego. Oh, I loved Sister T, man. I really did. She was she was like an auntie, that wild auntie you had. I'm just really disappointed in how she chose to handle that situation. I was really disappointed in that. Very. Still let down by that.
because her and Kwame could have talked about that. She knows how to get in contact and speak to Kwame. So, why did you not choose that avenue and chose chose to do it that way? You, she's been going back and forth with Damn D for months, and everybody stayed out of it that we know. Like I know, I stayed out of it. I, I don't. I don't think Kwame got involved at all. I don't. I don't remember him ever getting involved in that. And he didn't tell me to stay out of it because he didn't need to. I was not getting involved in that. When she was going at it with Queen Regina, I never got involved in that. When those two were having a fallout, those were two women having a fallout that had nothing to do with me, had nothing to do with Kwame, I don't think. I don't know if he got in the middle of that or what happened. I just, not in the middle of that. I don't think Kwame Brown ever got in the middle of damn D and Sister T situation. That's my my opinion on it, and from what I've heard him say just yesterday, I don't think he was ever in the middle of it. Yeah, that's right. It's a lot of people out there. They make they make videos just to make videos. Oh, gummy man! I didn't know that dude was still around. <laughs> he on the back burner. Nobody even talked to him no more. <laughs> I didn't know he was still around. The Texas Strangler got more 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 buzz than him right now. That dude is like a, <laughs> that dude is like a dead issue. Gummy still talking about me? I don't I don't think so. Last I heard from him, he was, you know, falling in love with emojis and was living in his garage and stuff. Sleeping in the car. That's the last thing I could recall. Oh, Gummy's a low life. Nobody to, to lose any sleep over. That's what I'm saying. They whole team is losers. You got a Texas strangler, a dude strangling his wife, and keep talking about, that was five years ago, though. So, he strangles the wife. Um... And then he mad, he living in a Motel 6, strangling wives. And then, then you got this dude, Gummy, falling in love with an emoji and getting himself pushed into the garage to go live out his days. He <laughs> can't be around the wife. Because he getting catfished. And then you got the ring leader who thinks it's cool to follow underage uh, Caucasian girls online. 
And when he gets caught, he's sitting up there talking about he don't know how he ended up following. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's his defense. Then he goes from that to, oh, what about the under? You got some, you got some young girls on your page talking to somebody else, and it's like, dude, this is your defense. Like I gotta say, dude, they are a bunch of losers, and these are the people that arenas think are the exceptional people of America. I mean, it's so, so much you can say and so much you can do and talk about. I used to have fun listening to Sister T and all her videos. I had no problems with her whatsoever. I had no problems with Sister T. It was so disheartening to hear that video yesterday. It didn't even seem real. That's how, like, like, what? It was that kind of confusion came over my face. And I'm like, I must have missed a lot. I wish everybody a happy new year. I wish Super Sister T a happy new year. Queen Regina, Kwame Brown, a happy new year. Hopefully everybody is safe out there. But that just blew my mind yesterday. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe it. Nobody talking about gummy no more. 
So that's what I'm saying. He's old news. He's, nobody, everybody knows he's a loser. So nobody even think about him. But it's this other unknown person that he attached himself to. That he's getting the doggone cheap labor out of. That's the person that's been getting it now. Can you see me? Okay, cool. Back at it playing with black magic. Yeah, the phone went under the seat. go from here what is the end game that's a very good question that's something sister T and Kwame Brown is gonna have to make a decision as far as what they're gonna do but even if they go their separate ways I mean that's that you know I I tell I gave you my opinions on what I thought about it I thought that was not the right way to handle that but she decided to do and choose the path that she wanted to take in handling it. So be it. I don't agree with it. But that's between um, her and Kwame and how he decides to deal with it. But I'm quite sure. I'm not seeing Queen. I mean, not Queen, but um, Sister T on a live chat in a panel in like months. To be honest, I'm not saying she ain't never been there, but for a while, I haven't seen her really on there. She was, like, doing her own thing. And whenever I got a time where she was live or something, I would try to come on there and show some support. But I never got involved in the damn D thing. I never got involved in the in the, her thing with Queen Regina. Just like now, this was just shocking. 
to see what she did with KB. That was just wow. I, I, I thought it was not real. That's to be honest. I just thought that was unreal. Uh, maybe they could solve it with a conversation. Maybe. I don't know. That's between them two. But I was highly disappointed. So that's it, man. Y'all have a blessed New Year's. Um, I might come back later and we'll have that discussion that we was having on Kwame's page. Might be through that a little later. But other than that, be blessed.